Dear scholars, recently we have learnt a lesson, stone soup, which is actually a play. I hope you have watched the provided video, read the play from the textbook, and understood the content. Here, through this video. I am going to explain the activities given in pointers that is exercise. Here we begin with the first. Answer the following questions. A. Where does the story take place? What is the answer? It is simple. In a village, right? The story takes place in a village. Next list the characters in the play and write one or two lines about each so there are five characters in the story they are motiram sonabai hirabai rupabai and the traveler right so while writing the answer you have to uh, write the name of the character and also one or two lines about it for example motiram he is a farmer who has good production that year. He doesn't want to tell others about it and he doesn't like guests. In this way, you have to write about Sonabai, Hirabai and Rupabai. See, how do the following avoid giving anything to the traveler? So when traveler goes to this four of the characters to ask for a food and a shelter so what they reply is, what they reply that you have to write first one motiram what motiram says he tells that food is over right you can also write little more but we expect answer in one or two lines only so i just told only one sentence next sonabai she pretends to be hard of hearing. Third, Hirabai. She pretends not to understand the language and she speaks gibberish. Rupabai. She tells that her larder is empty. Moreover, she has nothing to eat. So, in this way, you have to write about each character. Next, D. Find what Hirabai tells the traveler by reading her words from right to left. We have seen that the words are not arranged in a proper order. Their spellings are simply uh, written in a uh, uh, left to right order so what would what she said that we have to uh, tell over here she said go away no food no rest for anyone here good i do not want you to go elsewhere next one apart from the stone how many things go into the soup so how many there are actually that we can easily count if we know all of them so for what are those things water potatoes tomatoes carrots beans onions ginger salt and pepper so totally nine things nine things uh, go go into the soup so you have you can write their names first and then you can mention in all nine things apart from stone go into the soup next does the traveler really have a magic stone answer no he doesn't have really he doesn't have a magic stone but why he used that stone then so you have to mention the magic is to make others start sharing things or the magic is to make 
Motiram, Sonabai, Hirabai and Rupabai understand that sharing is important. So this is what the answer of the that F1. Number 2. On any one page, note against the speech of every character. What feelings it should show to bring out the meaning best. For example, joy, fear, anger, nervousness, friendliness, dislike, surprise, wonder, excitement, politeness, rudeness, cunning, curiosity. After reading the dialogue of each character, what that dialogue expresses is, what that dialogue expresses that we have to write. And here we have those options, what the dialogue expresses, we can identify out of this. Let me provide you example. For it is a uh, Hirabai's dialogue, guest can be nuisance, guest can be nuisance. Nuisance simply means annoyer, the person who annoys, that is called as nuisance. So what do you think when we are angry with something, someone, so what feeling we express? It is simply dislike, right? So you have to write the name of the character, just like Hirabai. Then the then her dialogue, guest can be nuisance. And what is it is what is it expressing? Dislike. So in bracket you can put dislike. Number uh, two, so another example, Motiram. Uh, Motiram says, uninvited guests are pests. Same. It is also again explain, uh, describing the dislike, showing the dislike of Motiram. So name of the Motiram, then his dialogue and in bracket the filling. Okay. So in this way, you have to write about the four characters, their dialogues. Oh, five, actually five characters, their dialogues and what they are expressing. Next, number three, read aloud or enact the play. So it is simply based on uh, uh, practical. If we are there to perform this play, enact the play. Or uh, the another thing is given that reading aloud. So you can read the play aloud yourself. Number four, write a recipe for the stone soup. Before writing the recipe, we must write the ingredients means name of the things needed for it so it is simply bowl then spoon then stove etc besides that uh, carrot so simply we will say vegetables uh, then spices and some other things you can write just like uh, the traveler use in 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 his soup recipe so step by step you have to write the recipe first take a bowl pour 8 to 10 cup of water in it put it on fire then add the vegetables one by one then add some spices and keep it boiling for few minutes in this way you can write the recipe or you can add you can write in little more detail next number five form pairs write at least one short dialogue for each of the following expression so the first dialogue uh, first response we want is i agree so that discussion between two friends uh, you have to write for example uh, the first friend is raj over here raj dialogue of raj uh, we have to write such a dialogue where you will respond i agree let me give you an example let's go to aurangabad instead Jalna. Raj said, let's go to Aurangabad instead Jalna. Then what is your reply? For example, here name I write Mohan. What is the reply of Mohan? Simply it is 
I agree. You can write this dialogue different too, but its response should be I agree. Number two, true. When we say true, it is when we listen something is right. For example, Priya said, "The sun rises in the east." The sun rises in the east. Where Kavya replies, "True, it's true, right?" Next, you are right. You are right. When we say it is simply an uh, opinion about someone or something. For example, uh, the character A says. I think he can't solve this question, and the character B replies, "You are right. You are right." Next, number four, why not? To mean that something can be done. Something can be done. We have to show. For example, uh, character A says, "Let's have coffee." Let's have coffee, and B says, "Why not? Ka nahi? Kyu nahi?" Next and last one. Thank you. For example, character A says, "Here is a gift for you. Here is a gift for you," and character B replies, "Thank you." So you can write another dialogues too when we say thank you. so when we are provided help at that time we simply say thank you so you can write any sentence of your own next number 6 find the meaning of charity begins at home find other saying which have a similar meaning it is what it means one must see the needs of family and friends before helping others so this is what the uh, meaning of the given uh, phrase is charity begins at home and there are some other sayings so you can simply uh, browse on google to find the similar saying uh, that indicates the same meaning like charity begins at home number 7 list five questions from the play which can be answered with yes or no so there are many questions given in the play so after reading the question you must think that answer is yes or no such a questions are called verbal questions and they begin with the verb for example uh there is dialogue uh, at the beginning and uh, it is do you think that is right do you think that is right so generally what answer we will give yes or no right such a questions you have to find another example can i have some food next one anyone at home in this way you have to write five questions from the play number 8 smart activity sorry smart answers form a large group each person ask the next one a question to get him to say yes or no it means if you are playing the game you have to ask your friend a question where they will answer yes or no he or she can use appropriate statements or request or even other questions as a response but if he or she says yes or no he or she is out otherwise he or she continues the game questions cannot be <coughs> repeated so what you have to do uh, you have to ask yes no question to your friend if your friend replies yes or no at that time your friend is out of that game and if your friend <coughs> replies 
with another words question request or statement at that time your friend can continue the game and the condition is you cannot repeat the questions questions cannot be repeated let me provide you example uh, for example i would say do do you have a pen do you have a pen Gen <coughs> generally my friend will reply yes or no right but if my friend says yes or no he he or she is out of, out of the game so my friend has to reply something different so what can be the reply my question is do you have a pen sorry do you have a pen and the friend will reply please don't ask me for a pen so if my friend gives such an answer he or she will continue the game or if he uh, my friend says yes or no so simply the my friend is out of the game uh, second question can i have some food so answer is yes or no right but you have to respond something different can i have some food uh, the food is over simply you can reply right so in this way you have to frame uh, at least five questions where the answer would be yes or no and what your friends may reply instead yes or no rather than yes or yes or no that again you have to find and and you can write in the notebook further last activity visit a library find stories about hosts and guests share them with the class classify the stories into funny and serious stories you might have listened the story of the fox and the crane where the fox invites the crane uh, his home right so the fox is the host and crane is the guest and uh, how he treats that crane that is given in the story so you have to make a list of such a stories and then you have to find whether the story is funny or serious so this is all about all the activities given in pointers or exercise based on the lesson stone soap i hope the explanation given by me will be fruitful to you you can use uh, my explanation to write the answers or you can uh, write your own too